Saturday storms while scattered put on a show. Check out this video uh, from Will Jones in Smithfield. We'll show you that video here. Lightning within this storm cloud lit up the evening sky. Heat lightning, right? Not so much. Meteorologist Chris Michaels explains what this phenomenon really is in today's Ask the Meteorologist, Chris. Yeah, so Michelle, it's one of those things that like we call it heat lightning. I always called it that as a kid, but it's really lightning from a storm that's miles away. But the thing is, with a lot of these storms this time of year and into the summer, they grow to be 30,000 to 50,000 feet tall. The curvature of the earth is what allows us to see storms that are miles away. So why is it that you can see the lightning, but you can't really hear the thunder? Light travels 875,000 times faster than the speed of sound. So if you do see lightning and then hear thunder, count the seconds in between the two, divide by five, and that tells you just how far the storm is from you. Lightning can strike 10 to 12 miles away. So there are some times where you may be golfing or you're at the pool and you're thinking, I'll be just fine on my own away from the storm. Not so much because it really can strike quite a ways away. We're getting into that time of year where we start to see this more frequently. North Carolina ranks number two in the country, unfortunately, in a lightning casualty. So of course, if you hear thunder, you get inside and you wait about 20 to 30 minutes before it, uh, it's safe to get back. Out. All right, very informative. Thank you, Chris.